everyone, I'm Jared, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to add drags to your drum fills. This is a really great way to take your basic fill and just make it sound a little bit more complex and interesting. So first we're gonna talk about what a drag is. Now, if you look at a, like a rudiments poster or a rudiments book, you'll see a drag generally notated as two little mini notes and then one big accented note, and that would look and sound like this. And then the way I kind of started figuring out this stuff is I started practicing the single drag diddle, which is basically drag, left, right, right, drag, right, left, left. It's like the paradiddle with the drag on the, the first of each count. I'm like, man, this can be added into so many different fills. You could just add this drag in anywhere. And so I kind of notated it on the sheet music the same way. Okay, so the drag is notated by just a little dash on that note. So take a look at exercise one, you're gonna see a drag, and then this is just single strokes. Drag, left, right, left, another drag, right, left, another drag, and then right, left. And that pattern kind of repeats itself over and over again. And this is something, like I've heard, um, one of the, the most famous drummers in the world, Buddy Rich, he plays drags. I just think it sounds unbelievable when he puts them in his solos and in all the crazy stuff that he's doing. So if you want to listen to drags within drum solos and drum fills, definitely check that out. Okay, but a drag is generally, in this case, in the case of what we're doing here, it is double the note value. So if you're seeing 16th notes, the drags are going to consist of 32nd notes. Okay, so we're going to double it. I'm not saying that's always the case, but in the case that we're doing here, that is going to be the case. Okay, now I want to talk about the difference between a drag and a diddle. Because a lot of times people will say, well, no, those are just diddles you're adding in. And <clears throat> that is not necessarily the case because a diddle consists of something that is the same note value. So you have a paradiddle right? And the diddle is 16th notes, just like the para, okay? So it's all the same note value, whereas a drag, we shift the note value and we either, we can double it, or sometimes the note value is not even really audible because it's just so fast and it just sounds like this one thick note. Okay, but this is just an awesome way to, to really up your fills and just make them sound way better and just give them a, a little bit more complexity. And uh, I think, you know, as far as pushing ourselves, this is one thing we can do, like a simple thing that we can do that, that is just gonna, you know, make you have more fun at the drum set. So, with that said, I'm gonna play all of these exercises at two tempos for you, okay? I'm gonna play them at 60 and then again at 100. And the exercises were designed to start at like a beginner level and then just slowly get more challenging, okay? So we're going from beginner all the way to advanced. Um, now one thing I want to mention here is on exercise four, you're going to see a little drag on the, a little drag, you're going to see a drag on the bass drum, okay? So we can do drags on, the, on both feet as well, okay? That would just sound like this. So those techniques to perform the double stroke are something you're going to have to work out um, as well as all the other associated techniques related to these exercises, all right? So with everything, you know, you have to start slow, and progress faster as you become comfortable. Here we go.
All right, so that's just five ideas on how you can incorporate drags into your fills. Now, if you want to try and come up with your own, just do exactly what I did, and that is basically play a 16th note rhythm on the snare, and then just add drags in, something simple like this. And just so you guys know, when I do those on the snare drum, I'm bouncing mostly. If I go to do them on the floor tom, um, I use a little bit of fingers to pull the stick back up and get that second note in there, just to give it a little bit more definition. But you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. The one question I have for you is, are you currently using drags within your fills? Is this something that you already knew, or is this kind of a new concept that you're going to be working on as a result of this lesson? Also, I want to know which of these exercises you like the best. Number one through five. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again very soon.